So there's one more drug maker deal that I wanted to highlight, and that one is Celgene and Receptos. What was the story here? This is, if you look at all of these deals, and there's so many to consider, this is one of my favorite deals, um, especially if you're a growth investor uh, who's interested in, 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 you know, getting involved in a company that maybe did an acquisition that could really pay off uh, over time. Uh, this is not a small deal, uh, but it is certainly much smaller than, you know, Pfizer's deals. Celgene agreed to pay or pay $7.2 billion to buy Receptos to get its hands on a multiple sclerosis drug named Azanamod. And Azanamod has already finished uh, phase two trials in which uh, it significantly reduced brain lesions, but it did so with a safety profile that was very similar to placebo. Now, that's pretty remarkable because the market for MS drugs is shifting dramatically towards drugs that are taken orally rather than injected. And those drugs, Tecfidera is the market share leader. Another one is Novartis Galenia. Another one uh, is Sanofi's Baggio. These drugs generate out billions of dollars a year in sales. And this drug could conceivably be safer than those drugs with similar efficacy. So one question mark for me with this deal happened a little bit afterwards. When when they initially announced it, I was like, oh, okay, that, that sounds great. And then in thinking about it, um, there was some news that was released that Biogen licensed a pretty similar drug to Ozanamod um, that's also being studied for multiple scler- sclerosis and some other autoimmune diseases. And they licensed it for only $60 million up front and about half a billion dollars in potential milestones. Which is kind of a head scratcher to me that Biogen could get basically the same drug, maybe um, have not compared them in clinical trials. I mean, who knows? Maybe the receptor's drug is way better. But I, I don't know. I it leaves me thinking that maybe Celgene overpaid. I mean, you really have you know it's so hard to tell. Um, but I will tell you this: when you come through phase two and you have results that are as good as this. Um, and you have a management team that's as successful as Celgene at ferreting out good potential values, needle-moving values, Uh, I tend to fall uh, in the camp of, let's give management the benefit of the doubt on this one. Um, Could this other drug also put up very strong numbers in late-stage trials? It's possible. But right now, in my opinion, the evidence supports this being uh, the better option. Yeah, I, I think you make a good point there where cell gene management has proven that it does know exactly what it's doing. 